PVC creation. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make your trending belt or what they call the beast belt. So this is how it looks like. So from here you can as well design yours. Here is where you will attach your long strap. So without wasting time, you need your thread ruler, your curve ruler. You need the fabric you are going to work with, wad, wadding or your padding, your wad or your pad to make your belt to be stronger. You can, I preferably use a wad for my, for my belt, your pattern paper. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it and construct it or how to construct or draft your piece or trending belt now and also how you can design yours. First of all, let's start with the drafting of the trending belt or you call it a piece belt. All you have to do, fold your pattern into two. Fold it into two. Mark your middle point. Use your hand to mark it. Then make sure that you have a straight line. Make sure that you have a straight line. So after marking out a straight line, from here is where you are going to start measuring. So from here, go up by one and a half inch, one and a half inch, one and a half inch. From here, come down by one and a half inch also, one and a half inch, one and a half inch. Make a straight line. If you make a straight line, measure your measure your your width. Love using five inches or five and a half inches. So I'm going to extend my line because this is not up to five. So I like to use five and a half inches. So I'm going to mark five and a half at the upper side. Five and a half. So when I'm through marking my five and a half, I'm going to claim this one and a half inches line. So after I clean it up, get the midpoint of your get the midpoint of your of your five and a half inches. So I'm going to fold my tape. So that's five and a half to measure the midpoint. So this is my midpoint here. From this midpoint, measure that midpoint all around. So for you to know the center, you mark it. Or you connect your lines connect your line with a straight line so when you are through connecting your line from this midpoint you mark one and a half inch up you mark one and a half inch down so from this one and a half inch, measure one inch, one inch to the sides, to the inner sides. 
do you connect? This line is where we are working with, with this line. We are now working with this and the upper side. So you can clean the lines that you are not working with off. So we are working with this, this and this. So from this one inch, use the side that is Use the side that is more curvy on your curve, on your curve room. Place it. Place it at this one and half inch. Make sure that you connect this one and half inch to this line in a curvy in a curvy motion then repeat the same thing out at, at the down part you are true connecting the line with the upper and the downside you also connect your line to this also connect this to the, the other side from here you can as well reduce or go to any use your so we are going to cut out now to see the shape that we have so we now have something like this so that is how to cut your trending clothes belt so from here this is what you are going to use to cut out on your part your wad and also cut out from your wad and also from your fabric remember when cutting Put your seam allowance, cut out your strap like 30 inches long on two sides or just say 25 inches on this on two sides, making it to be 50 so that you can be able to round it up. So from here you can see this one is the smaller part, this one is the bigger part. You can choose which one you will like. You will like to use for your you will like to use for your for your belt 